Okay, so now for our next map, we got Cafe Dostoevsky. Totally butchered that name. But one of the first things that um, that is pointed out is the spawn peaks of the top third floor. Um, you can definitely see into the southeast side. Um, not directly into the spawn, but pretty much. They're going to be running past this, and they're definitely going to be running over here. They spawn a little behind that tree to back there area. Um, you can definitely use those windows to your advantage. Now, let's say you're not even trying to spawn peek, but just trying to guard, do a real good guardy. Now, guarding down here is really, really dangerous because they can see your feet and you can't really see them too much. But if you wait a couple, if you wait a minute or maybe 30 seconds or so, um, they might not check here anymore and they might have forgotten about it. You can definitely get anyone who's repelling this wide open angle. Um, huge advantage to your team if you can get those angles off. Now, going to the opposite side on the second floor, we have something that is a little reminds us a little bit of the shower on um over there on house. Um, you could definitely see straight into the spawn, and you can see straight over. It's honestly it's ridiculous, and the peak you can get off it. I've been killed by it, and wondering where I even got killed from, not being able to tell my teammates um where exactly that came from. You can see behind all these walls. It's ridiculous, man. Um, but these peaks are really, really necessary to helping a team. Now another set of uh, windows down here and lets you see out and about. But I feel like hitting this bottom right here and just getting anyone really quickly that comes running. Um, you don't want to stay in the bakery. Uh, you will probably be killed because there is just is so many windows that you'll be flushed out and killed within maybe a couple seconds of you trying to kill someone else. Now hitting the top of this is actually really really helpful because they might not see this coming. Um, standing on top of the little stove area, stove top area, you can actually see straight across to anyone who's running out from the spawn and if you're really cheeky you might actually be able to get, get some kills through the car window or again through straight to the spawn. So we're going to move on to our next map. Now, welcome everyone. We are on yacht, of course. Of course, yacht. Um, why not? Now, the first one I want to actually show you guys. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, which you should, uh, those will be down in the description. But if you follow me on Instagram, I actually got one of the nastiest aces, and this is how it started off. Now, this run out is completely amazing. Now, you stand here, right when the clock hits zero, run out right across, and you can see right into the spawn um, a lot of people don't see the see the detection until you're about right here which is way 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 too late my friend um, always got to keep your eyes open for that stuff now right above it you got um, a little room right here you definitely don't want to get stuck in this room um, especially if you're about to peek this but hitting the window being able to see um, where they're gonna run up uh, they're definitely gonna run up behind this blue right here Definitely being able to see that is a really, really helpful move. Now, there's also another run out over here. There's actually two. Um, this goes on both sides of where we are right now. Uh, a lot of people might come up these stairs right here. Um, you could definitely get them from doing a run out like that. Uh, directly on the other side, you have either a run out like this, or you can go on the other side and just merely hit the window like I showed you guys earlier. Um, just hit the little left, hit the little left right corner. Um, you definitely be able to see just a little, little bit. Um, it really, really helps when you get a peek off like that. Now, the last one that I'm gonna do down here is going to be on the doorway that is down here. Now, if they spawn on this side, there's actually not too many peaks on this side, surprisingly. But one of the big ones is being able to see right here, or even just a run out. Um, if you're feeling it, and just being able to kill all the people who are running around back here. So we're going to move on to our next map. Now we got another map coming at you and we got our border. Now border, it could be notorious for a lot of different things. Um, but one of the things that I like doing is peeking. Now you can just stand in the little TV room, um, whatever you might call it, break room is what it's called officially. But being able to see um, this little hole run out that they come from when they spawn on the south is really, really, really helpful. Um, also, you might actually be able to get a nasty, nasty either peek or run out. Um, 
depends how you want to do it right here because they spawn um, back here on the east get a nasty peak nasty spawn run out um, those are always always helpful when your team's down or they need your help now another run out I actually found useful is the front door um, surprisingly not enough people use it apparently um, but being able to see across when they spawn from the south you can see straight across or if they spawn from the west um, really 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 helps now another little sneaky spot in case they spawn from the west is you can actually get a little peek you can see this little tiny slit um, through the window or you can just merely hit the bottom uh, corner um, if they if they're running through and they don't see you right away you definitely can get a nice peek off on them now last interesting run out that I've actually seen a couple times not too many times is right here um, you can actually shoot them if they start running from the south uh, running towards these cars and stuff or on this side if they're coming from the east and they're running towards these cars but we're gonna move on to our next map and let's do that now welcome people we are on the DLC maps we are currently on favela right now um, huge 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 peak potential especially because pretty much everything is destructible um, the first peaks I actually want to show off um, Let's say they're in Ant's bedroom. Let's say they're on uh, the south side of the building for whatever sake, whatever reason. Let's say there's a glass outside. You can see all of that. And also, if you crouch, if they decide they want to go up on the shanties right there, or they want to try to go in through this doorway, you actually have access to shooting them um, completely the way through. Now, another thing I want to show you guys, if you guys don't want to risk opening up that window too much, you can actually just punch out. Uh, a little hole I mean this is a little bit bigger than probably something I would use but just for example sake um, you can see down to Ann's bedroom you can barely barely see it depending on the lighting um, that's up to you though but you can definitely use these angles to your advantage let's say you want to hold an angle and maybe try to get a little peek off right here it's really really hard angle to hold but definitely has its rewards um, now another huge one is actually right here because they will run out um, right around that corner you actually could probably get a really nice kill if they spawn on the northwest side um, it's really really cool if you could do it though now going over here I mean this applies to the football office in the room right next to it but again this entire map is pretty much destructible so let's say you're playing bomb and you're um, down in the bikers apartment you can maybe open up a hole maybe just even cut, punch a few holes be able to see completely outside maybe have the hatch open guard from the hatch um, hold down that angle completely now something I've actually used quite a bit is shooting from this side now I'm just gonna shoot this out really quick just for example sake. but let's say you're up um, on the third floor up trying to guard it and you just you're, your whole team's up there and you don't really want to stand up there and try to just hold it down you can come over here if there's a glass if there's anyone sitting outside say Habana or something like that is sitting outside on the balcony right here easy one tap um, they'll never even see it coming now the same thing goes for downstairs um, you just open it up again like so <laughs> little bit harder of an angle to hold but you can definitely get some good peaks off um, they might not see it and that's um, when you really really excels when they really can't see it now something else I've used is up here um, surprisingly enough not too many people notice me when I come over here let's say you have someone zip lining right here under the window let's say a fuse is trying to place a charge a thermite is trying to place a charge something like that easy shots on them again if Havana or Glass is chilling over here, shoot them in the head. It's pretty easy, man. So that's going to wrap things up on this map, and we're going to keep moving on through the DLC maps. Welcome to the Skyscraper, man. Oh, my goodness. We made it all the way to Red Crow. Now, the first peak that I actually want to talk about is going to be on the northeast side. And, of course, if they spawn on the northeast side behind this, easy kills, man. Especially because they usually will come through here or they'll come from the right just a little bit but easy kills now another one I want to talk about is not so much a spawn kill as much as it is a useful kill in case you are trying to defend tea room now you just open up a little hole now that's not little but you maybe you punch it or something but you can actually see straight across say they're trying to go out the window um, say they're trying to shoot it from right here 
you have access to pretty much the entire um, range of items. Now, dare I even go over all of the runouts in this uh, map? You can easily run out. Almost every single window has some sort of run out. Um, whether you're trying to guard the uh, the office right here or below it or anything like that, there, there's always going to be a run out. Say you're trying to guard Geisha and Geisha's getting overtaken. Come for a run out right here. Jump right back in. There's just so many runouts. It's honestly, this map was a uh, little crazily designed. Or say if they're trying to go towards work office from here, you chilling, you're gonna wait. Um, you're gonna wait to jump out this. Then all of a sudden, you push, you kill all the enemies that are trying to push work office from the balcony right here. Jump back in. They never even saw it coming. Now a huge one that I actually got was um, I I didn't create this in any sort of way. Um, I just figured it out. But hitting the top of this, you can actually see a lot more than you think you can. Um, say there's someone running across. Say there's someone repelling. I actually did kill someone on one of my videos repelling right there. Um, but you can get a crazy angle off. And it feels real good when you can get it. Now, of course, another run out. What's new on this map? Right here. They're going to spawn um, typically on the bottom down there. Um, let's say they're trying to go in your downstairs where the objective is now you come run out right here jump back in um, They never even saw you coming Now of course there is so many windows so many angles that you can hold that it, Honestly, it's a little scary a little ridiculous um, spawn peaking is a little bit of a runouts and spawn peaking is a little bit more of a problem on this map than other maps um, Just being able to see all this information is pretty insane so we're going to move on to our last two maps. Let's do this. Welcome everyone to Bartlett University where education and spawn peaks are given. Now, let's see the first spawn peak. And I honestly, <laughs> the only reason I figured out about this was because when Bartlett University first came out, I got killed by a Tachanka from here. You can actually set up a Tachanka right about here. Hold this angle. It's ridiculous. But typically, they'll be running all the way over here where those benches are. They'll run across. You'll be able to get them. There is a little bit of a wall right here that they might be able to come through. Um, but this angle is killer. <laughs> get the pun. So moving on across to the other side, same floor but different side. You actually have a visual straight into the other spot. Wait, what? Yeah, there's a visual straight into the other spot. You can see pretty much besides this tree in the way. You can see into the other spawn. Now heading downstairs again, you have a shot straight into if they come up these staircases, or if you decide that a run out is necessary, you can actually just shoot everyone who's coming up this um this pathway right here. Now going back to the other side from where we were, we actually have right below the window we were peeking earlier course a little bit of a spawn kill um, now if they run up say they're trying to go in through this window over here um, or they're coming up hopefully the glass won't be in the way too much but you can definitely see across and definitely get some nasty kills now of course if you miss the spawn kill up top just come down here aim across anyone who runs across you can definitely see, and especially if you can hold the bomb out there, oh, you're golden, my friend. Now, again, straight across, you can definitely see, say let's try ziplining all the way down, ziplining all the way up, you can definitely get them from this spawn peak. So we're going to move on to our last map, and let's do this. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a party if we didn't bring it to the coastline. Now, coming from you, for, coming to you from Sunrise Bar, Probably one of the best peaks I have figured out. I didn't learn this from anyone. I figured it out myself. This, man. They spawn typically in the southwest corner, and you can see them as soon as they run out. Typically, you wait for one or two maybe, and then you start shooting, open up the window, um, hopefully get a couple headshots. Um, I've gotten some insane peaks on this part. Going straight across, you can actually see... Some of if they decide to run all the way around if you want to hold this angle instead 
they might not see you as quickly or at all. Now going straight across from that, let's say you're guarding the little kitchen, the kitchen that's directly right in front of us. You can definitely open this up or you can hit it from the bottom like we did before, wait, and then light them up. Now this map actually has um, has a run out that I don't think was meant to be a run out. You can come right here, shoot anyone who's coming on that corner, run back in. Um, they'll never even see it coming. Or you can come straight across and maybe just get a little nice little spawn peek. Coming downstairs, you actually have, um, let's say they're running across the courtyard. Let's say they're running across where the cars are. You have a nice little opening, not too much of a spawn peak going, but definitely helpful if they spawn from that side. Going back on that, if they decide that they want to try running around or you want to try holding just a little sneaky little um, spawn peak, maybe get up on the desk, shoot them from the top. Sometimes they'll run past you, especially if you're on the other side and they spawn on this side. They'll run past right here, hold that angle, and you'll definitely get a spawn kill. Now, guys, that's going to wrap things up for today. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I Honestly, let me know if I missed anything. I'm sure, I'm sure I missed something. Don't forget to use all these techniques I taught you guys, and don't forget to use these spawn peaks. And if you guys end up getting these spawn peak kills, let me know. I want to see some videos. I want to see, um, see what you guys are working with. Now, just know that spawn peaking is pretty... Um, People do not reg have very high regards for it. So if you're going to spawn peak, people are probably going to talk trash. But if you need, if your team needs it, definitely do it. Or if you're just feeling a little cheeky, definitely work for it. Don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to like the video because I worked really hard trying to put this together. And don't forget to subscribe for future content, future information. I also got some entertaining videos on here too. Go check those out. Don't forget to share this with your friends. And that's going to be it for today. This is going to be Josh Snipes signing off.